Hello everyone and welcome to installing the mods necessary to recreate the International Space Station and Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1 .1 with Realism Overhaul. Now it's possible that this could work in stock as well but I'm gonna focus on the Realism Overhaul version of it because that's what I have here. This I built in 1.1.3 and 1.3.1 but have successfully imported into 1.8.1. There were some texture issues, well shader issues actually, and I resolved that by adding textures unlimited to those parts. In particular, the Destiny module seemed to have a shader problem. It might not have that problem if you install it the way that I'm going to tell you how to do uh, this time. We'll see. Uh, but there are some other discrepancies. First of all, my own Dragon Capsule seems to be lacking its trunk, and I don't know what's up with the trunk, but we'll leave that aside for now. The Dragon Capsule is not part of the station proper, and you can always use the Tundra Exploration Dragon 2 if you want. So that's not a big deal. The beam module, on the other hand, is uh, from the Keem uh, mod, and that looks a little bit weird. So, yeah, I don't know what to do about that. That's a complicated business. Otherwise, everything is looking pretty good, though. I think you'll agree. So without further ado, let's get to how to install it and what mods it takes, since everybody seems to be asking about that. So for the purpose of showing how to install this, of course I need to have an install that doesn't already have the ISS, and that's the install that I've been using to describe how to install Realism Overhaul, and then how to install the Space Shuttle. So if you follow along with those videos, it's the same one. And this is also the one where uh, we did the Space Plane stuff. So again, it's just a base RO install plus the Space Shuttle here, uh, plus some Space Plane parts like B9 Aerospace. and you don't really have to worry about B9 Aerospace. Of course, you probably want the Space Shuttle if you're building the ISS, so you probably want that. Uh, but I have some of my own mods here, like the Dragon Capsule. Uh, but again, you should probably use other versions of that. And really, the main thing that you need, aside from a baseline Realism Overhaul install for the ISS, is Textures Unlimited. So, Textures Unlimited, and if we take a look at this thread here, which is the main Bobcat Industries Space and Planets Products thread. I'll link this in the video description. Uh, we're going to go through this, and here it says requires raster prop monitor. That link will not work. We will have to find a more up to date version of raster prop monitor. We installed that in the course of the space plane bit of the tutorials. So, yeah, that's this JSI folder right here. So, you need that. And it says deli re entry, otherwise optional. Just treat it as optional, maybe. Um, I don't know if this uh, BD uh, animated engines, uh, this version definitely, all these links are dead because they're all dead. <laughs> so we're lucky that this thread at least still survives, but otherwise the links that it has on here are all dead, just assume that. And this engine cap one, that's dead too. So I don't know if the engine cap or, uh, engine cap or soft landing engines are gonna work, but anyway, we'll get this Soyuz. And the trick to understanding how to use the links on this ancient thread is to know that the forums deleted all Mediafire links at some point. So we get the Mediafire link, the Soyuz. I've already saved this because, of course, I tested out this process before trying to record the video. Uh, so, yeah, you get that one. And we continue in the same Bobcat thread. We see this mirror. We want the mirror, and again, same problem. You type in media fire, and you'll get the mirror. I've already downloaded all these. Uh, you don't need the clipper proton. You might as well use Raider Nix proton, which is more up to date and maintained still. And uh, Baran's up to you, but I don't know whether that works or not. I haven't tried it. Uh, I think you'd be better off trying out Deku's Buran. And um, we keep going down. And there's all sorts of stuff, but here's the International Space Station Community ISS project. And all the features. Requirements. ROM Fair's laser system is for Canada Arm 2. Without it, it won't appear. Just let it not appear. <laughs> that that thread's not gonna work, and you know. Uh Lionhead Aerospace. Uh yeah, no, don't care. That's for the ATV and Ariane 5. There are other places to get that from. Um, you've got the Mir Space Station from above, so that's for Zarian's Vesda. Component Space Shuttle, I told you how to install the Space Shuttle before. So you've got that though, re-entry is still finicky, I'll talk about that in a different uh, video. 
And then finally, here's the community ISS mod. And once again, what you need to do is just type in Mediafire in between the two dots and you can get that. So I've gotten all that, I downloaded all that already. And on Mir, I should note that there is a somewhat more up-to-date version that I didn't use in the original uh, videos for the ISS assembly. That's this one by DeckQ. You see this Mir version four and DeckQ uh, basically took it over. So project team DeckQ and Dragon01 from the previous uh, video and that's this mirror, so you could try that one out. I don't know if the part, the part part names are the same. Now for Canadarm, I'll link this thread. Uh, so I'm not gonna link the DeQ mirror one because I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna link this uh, Bobcat thread directly and assume that you're gonna use that one. Uh, I will link this Canadarm, and this is the Canadarm that I put on the space shuttle in the videos. So this is that one. It's old, but it's just the parts. The parts require infernal robotics, and we'll get to uh, we'll get to that. Uh, but uh, you you can just download the version for 1.1.3, and it should appear. That doesn't mean it, I haven't tried using Canada Army 1.8, so watch out. I've used it in 1.3, but I haven't used it in 1.8. So yeah, maybe um, for the station for Canada Army 2, I use RKE Canada Army. This one. Same, it uses Infernal Robotics. Um, I don't know about Kerbal stuff, probably doesn't work. Curse Forge uh, doesn't work, but this uh, Bitbucket one, that link seems to work. So you, that'll pop up for you. So get RKE Canadarm. That's the one I use for Canadarm 2. That's the one on station. And again, the reason why the part mods may still work is because Infernal Robotics itself, the plugin mod, has been updated and maintained now by this thread. I'll link this thread in the video description. And so download Infernal Robotic uh, uh, from GitHub. And uh, it says works with KSP 1.7.2 and later. So get this 3.0.2 version. I haven't toyed around with it that much in 1.8, so be wary. I've only actually used the Canada Arm in 1.3. So, okay. Uh, another part mod that I've used for station parts is this uh, CX Airspace. It's largely a duplicate of the Bobcat, uh, the Community ISS one. So, but sometimes you might find that the Bobcat ones don't work out for you. They don't look right. This has nice interiors, so uh, the Bobcat one does too. But so you might uh, pick and choose between this and the other one. This also has RO configs for it. So yeah, I download this as well and I'll be installing I've, I'll be installing that in the install so but it's 1.3 again so all these are old mods keep that in mind so we've got CX airspace and in the on the ISS that I had there you might have noticed that I had an H2 as well so that's this mod the Konotori and I'll link this in the video description files now, RO config for this, I think it's the one I made, so... And the shininess is a whole other business. Um, if you look at my videos, there is a video on the H2B and the HTV, and that'll have my files for it. I'll just link this, but you'll have to look at that video for the explanation for everything. But yeah, download this uh, ancient version. Again, it's for 1.3, but it seems to appear in 1.8, so maybe it's okay. And uh, yep, finally, Beam. And it was originally the key mod. This version is actually 1.4 and above, so maybe it's got the look of it fixed for us, because the version I had there that looked messed up is from 1.3. So this is, again, uh, you need textures and limited and everything. The Curse Forge link works. So I'll uh, download this one, but again, it hasn't been updated in a while, so it's all very tenuous and everything. And uh, now having all those in folders, in this ISS folder, I'm going to put everything in here. The first thing I want is actually Infernal Robotics, so. There we are, Infernal Robotics. Magic Smoke Industries, you should have that folder. 
and then in ISS the HTV. Be careful that there isn't a game data folder inside the main folder. So that's the that's the HTV. Canada Arm. Ah, uh, here this had a game data folder inside. Then so you have to get Canada Arm like that. So check in the folder to make sure there's another game data folder. CX Aerospace. Not the half resolution. Full resolution. Okay, that looks good. The ISS community pack. That looks good. It has its own HTV, by the way. Uh, but I haven't tried that one. The Kerbalo pack. Game data. There we go. Mir. And it's this Soviet pack here. You could... I don't know why you need the sub-assemblies, so just take the Soviet pack there. RKE Canada Arm. Now, at this juncture, especially with the Canada Arms, I have to say that you don't need all the parts necessarily to say non -R uh, to say that they're RO compatible. It's okay for something like Beam or for RKE Canada Arm to not be RO compatible. Um, that, that's fine. You don't need to have a special configuration for those. Uh, the main modules you'll want to have the special uh, the RO configuration for, so they have the right resources and they're the right size. But as it turns out, one of them's not the right size anyway. But we'll get to that. Okay, so this uh, Soyuz pack has some Bobcat stuff and also Soviet pack stuff. So we'll just grab both of those. Okay, so we've got all those installed. But there are a few catches. Um, why don't we just fire it up and see what those are? While Kerbal is loading, I can tell you that the main file that configures the ISS parts in Realism Overhaul if, is if you go into the Realism Overhaul folder in Suggested Mods here, it's this file. This No, this file. This is the most important file. There's also the CX Aerospace parts. Those are in here. But for Community ISS, it's this file. And let's open up and take a look. Um, what I'm eventually going to... You can see that for each of them, it deals with the scale of it. Now, I don't know why. Uh, it, they're a little bit messed up. So, like, this Mir Core module, which is Vesda, has it being scaled here, but then it sets scale to 1 here. Technically, this scale and this scale should match, but they've not done that. Uh, so... Which is fine, because it then ends up the right scale, which is 1, I think. I think it's just supposed to be the, the current scale, so it's okay. Um, it has a reaction wheel for some reason, which it's not supposed to have. Because uh, Zvezda, I don't think, has a reaction wheel. It might, I, I forget. Uh, it's not, not going to cause any huge problems. It's got the right UDMH and NTO uh, fuel mixture. And it's got that those resources there, which is good. So Zvezda looks good. And then we've got some solar panels here. I'm going through this because if you've got problems, this is where you need to look. Uh, so we've got the mirror docking port, thruster blocks. This is Zarya, which is the first module of the ISS. And you notice it rescales this. And it doesn't specify another scale, so it'll be rescaled as it is. And it commented out. This is commenting it out, which means that this, this part is not active. And that mean, uh, which is good because rescale factor is a bad thing to use. They moved the nodes because they thought they needed to, but I don't know if that's true or not. We'll see. Um, here we have NTO and hydrazine, but an obscene amount. If you actually try to launch Zarya like this, you won't be able to on Proton. Uh, it's got too much. What you would actually want is 1,000 of each. And it's not supposed to be hydrazine, actually, it's supposed to be UDMH, but UDMH is just a variant of hydrazine, so I'll let it pass. So, but if, strictly speaking, you would want, probably want to change that to UDMH, and maybe change both of them to about 500 instead of it. 1,000 is an absolute limit. You probably want less than that. Okay, so, uh, another problem with these ISS configurations in RO is these question marks. That means that there was a space left in the name of the part and that's not good so 
keep that in mind. That's another thing. So these are all spaces in the part name. And how that's read is sometimes finicky. And also you'll note that this is using, this one is using a rescale factor. But maybe that's all right. But we'll see. Unity. Okay, this is going to be a problem. So with Unity, it's the wrong size. So in my own configuration, I've commented out this. All of this has these double slashes ahead of it. But I'll show you once we load the part in Kerbal Space Program. So that's the wrong size. And what you do is you can ch change the scale. Or in this case, because the original scale was fine and it didn't need to be changed at all anyway, I just commented it all out. So uh, Destiny turns out to be the right size. Uh, this is Harmony here, and it should be fine. Columbus should be fine. The Gem Lab, which is the Japanese Kibo module, should be fine. And uh, ELM. Quest should be okay. Leonardo should be okay. The Cupola should be okay. Really, it's just uh, the Zarya issue and the Unity issue, but because those are like the first two, you're going to have issues right away. Okay, anyway, let's go to the game. So now, just for reference, if I tried to open up the save that has the ISS already in it that I showed you earlier, it's going to come up with this problem where all the parts are missing. Why are all the parts missing? Because I deleted those spaces in those part names in my own configuration. When I edit it, I like to eliminate any possible sources of problems and spaces in part names are generally a bad thing. So I went through the, all the parts in the ISS mod, deleted the spaces in the part names, and also edited the RO configuration to delete the spaces in those part names. So I can't load it like this. I'd have to use my version of the mods in order to load that ISS that I showed you earlier. But that should be the only, that and the changes to the size of Unity and uh, the resources in Zarya will be the primary differences. Maybe some differences in the trust, though I might be mixing it up with the CX Airspace trust. So let's just make sure that all our parts are around and the space plane hanger is better for putting together an ISS. This is not an ISS assembly tutorial, so I'm not going to put all the docking ports and everything. You're going to have to figure it out for yourself. And um, I suggest adding Raider Nix mods, uh, the Soviet spacecraft mod and Salyut mod so that you get some additional options for the docking ports. Those would be better. So, yeah. Um, ISS. Just type in ISS. Should pop up with all the parts, or most of them. And uh, that's Zarya. So you can see a 22.897 tons. That's too much. Uh, aim for less than 19 tons if you want to launch it. <laughs> I mean, if you at all want to launch it. So you see when we set to both of those to a thousand, we get 19.2 tons. That's nicer. Uh, you can't really change this hydrazine right now. I mean, you could put UDMH in, but then the RCS won't work. Add RCS ports to it, obviously. So that's Zarya. And do I see Zvezda? Oh, these Russian docking ports work nice, actually. Those are fine. Uh, you need the opposite end of those for this, though. I'm not seeing Zvez to pop up, but okay, let's take a look at Unity first. And you can see it's too big. It should be roughly the same diameter as over there. And if we type in shuttle, because I did install the shuttle in this before, so we should be able to see the shuttle bay. You can see it won't fit inside the shuttle bay. So it is too big by that 1.32 factor that they rescaled it by. Nodes look all right though. So anyway, but yeah, delete that section that I told you to delete before and uh, Unity will look better. And let me just type in Zvezda since I didn't see it pop up before. There's Mirror Core or Zvezda. It's the same thing. Uh, that looks a little bit smallish. It's the right mass though, but I thought Zvezda was bigger than Zarya. I'd have to take a look though. Anyway, um, there is the solar panels 
uh, this has the right solar panels for it you put the solar panels there anyway again i'm not going to go through the assembly we're just verifying that we've got the parts so um harmony i'm not gonna put it together we've got harmony we've got destiny we've got columbus we've got the cupola we've got leonardo um i think tranquility is just a duplicate of unity so you don't need to hunt for tranquility just put another unity there or uh or you could use the cx airspace one and then work or uh, maybe it's more like harmony actually i think uh tranquility is more like harmony so there are the CX Aerospace options if you want them. There's a gem module there, uh, so Kibo and all that business. And various, there's the Z1 truss, but there's also another Z1 truss from CX Aerospace if you want that one. There's the solar arrays, there's a PMA. So I'll go through, I'm going to have a summary video of the entire ISS assembly series where I talk about how things were assembled. And so that will be the reference for how to put it together. So I'm not going to leave that out. I'm just not putting it in this video. So there's the P4 slash P6 truss, S4 slash S6. And um, we also have the other trusses that... Oh, there, there. S0 and S1 slash P1. And there's a truss docking port I never used, so... There is one, but I didn't use it. Poisk, Piers, and Rasfit. So the parts are here. Um, and I think for the most part, the parts are okay. Um, that's not where it goes, I don't think. But um, but you can sort of fill it up with your fuels as you need to. Uh, this doesn't have the RCS on there. You should probably... Um, I don't know if it, you need to put RCS. You need to put other things on that. Um... Got radiators, got all the business. Uh, Canadarm. Canadarm. Okay, we've got the lower arm, upper arm, wrist, shoulder, and wrist. So that's the that's that Canadarm pack. Let me see if RKE. So this is the RKE Canadarm. RKE. A note that that's not our row, but you know what you need is for uh, infernal robotics to understand things about it. And so if we have the arm piece and then put a joint on, oop. So now we've got a joint. Hmm. It doesn't seem to in this version. Yeah, I think maybe. Canada arm isn't working quite right in infernal robotics uh, with infernal robotics in this version, so that might be a bust. Yeah, well, there is the stock robotics now, and we'll have to see about that. You can put together a Canada arm, but you can't use it. So it was usable in 1.3, but that doesn't seem like it's doable right now. I don't know how to fix that, but. So that's a bit of a disappointment. I think otherwise, let's see our Soyuz. Now the Soyuz that we have in here is actually different than the one I use on the station. But we've got one. It's a TMA version, which is the right version. And it's got the docking port. And if we type in progress, we also have a progress over the module, unmanned module, and um, even shrouds. So you have all the things. And but it's gonna take a little bit of uh, editing. And let me go back to the configuration file to remind you what's going on there. So again, what we're going to want to do is when we find Unity, and you can do the part with Zarya just inside the SPH or wherever you prepare your parts. Uh, just under fuel the hydrazine and NTO. Maybe put, actually, I would recommend putting 500 of the hydrazine. Put 500 UDMH or whatever you've got, because you're going to add RCS thrusters to it. And whatever the additional RCS thrusters you use, put that on. You could just get rid of the hydrazine uh, using the fuel tank option, the remove all tanks, uh, don't remove all tanks, show tank UI. And then put new RCS thrusters on that use UDMH and NTO and put that fuel in. Just remember not to be more than 19 tons. 
And uh, so Unity, uh, what I do is comment out, comment out, comment out, comment out, comment out. Like that. And that should get it the right size. Okay, so with that, I'll leave it here. And if you have further issues, tell me. I'll put the links in the video description. If things look weird to you, like the shading is wrong, I'll add in the video description my Textures Unlimited configuration for these parts, and maybe that'll help it out. Um, as far as, oh, we didn't check on Beam, did we? Now, sometimes these parts will look fine in the, let's see, it looks fine in the VAB. Maybe it'll be fine because it's the 1.4 version instead of the 1.3 version. But it's too small. Uh, it looks like we need to attach on this node. So it'll need a configuration or a tweak scale to be the right size. I have a configuration for it, but that's for the old one and the folder path is different. So I'll see if I can add uh, a different configuration for you guys to the video description. That's a lot of things. I'll probably forget something. If you have any problems, uh, mention in the comments below, but this is it. So if you want your ISS, this is how to get it, I suppose. And again, this is in 1.8.1. .1. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.